In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. My dear beloved uh, young men and women of the Coptic Church, I would like to present to you a presentation about, um, or a series about Christian marriage. Uh, it is very important these days to, to talk about how Christ in his uh, holy uh, mind had set the standard for us to live our life, uh, our lives in Christian marriage. Uh, nowadays, it's sad to say that the uh, incident of divorce has become uh, overwhelmingly big, uh, not only in the general public, but uh, unfortunately it started to uh, encroach on the Coptic uh, house as well. It is very um, disturbing and we need to be active and proactive and talk about the Christian marriage as God has uh, set for us. So I have a little uh, series for you uh, to uh, guide you throughout the way, whether you are trying to start a marriage or you are uh, in a marriage who may be or maybe not struggling. Um, it, at any way, it, it would be very helpful and protective to follow through with this series. In God's grace, we're going to start with episode one, which will give you a diagram that I want to uh, use to describe how God constructed for us the Christian marriage uh, as an illustration. So if you look with me at the screen, uh, there is a <coughs> an image of a building uh, that has a foundation um, right here, um, and then goes up to a second floor, a first floor, where you have pillars that hold the house, and then goes up to a second floor that demonstrates the day-to-day -day activities, where we have several rooms, we call them our living rooms, that describe our daily life. And then on the top, there is a, a kind of a, a beautiful crown up there called Holy of Holies uh, that gives beauty to the whole house. Each part of this uh, diagram represents something that is very valuable in our course and uh, studies. And we will take uh, each one at a time and go in details, both in a Christian uh, theological way of thinking uh, as well as down-to-earth uh, practical uh, way, as well as scientific, um, if we need uh, uh, scientific information, uh, will be included as well. So let's pray that uh, we all benefit from this course together. So I'm, today I will just give you a very brief uh, overview of this um, uh, diagram again in a little bit uh, more detail. So the, if you look at the foundation, um, that will be the, the, what gives the contrast to the difference between any marriage uh, and the other. So if you look at the, the building in general as a whole, that represents the outside uh, image of a household. And that is not necessarily different. The outside image is, is the same whether it's Christian or not, because um, most of the people would, call, would look and see like a couple together with or without children, they don't know the details of that, uh, how things are going in the, in the marriage. But what makes a, the, the huge difference is what this, this couple has put, decided, consciously decided to put as a foundation for the relationship. That's what makes the huge difference. So in the mindset of the world, people get together for so many different reasons. Mostly, if you want to um, uh, summarize what makes problems happen uh, in the worldly way of uh, of marriage, if you want to summarize it in one, one word, that would be um, selfishness. Uh, most of the problems that happen in Christian, uh, in, in marriage in general, is self because of selfishness. But on the other hand, what really protects the Christian marriage is what God has designed it to be, is based on the mindset of Christ uh, that sacrificed himself for the life of his bride, which is the church, or you and I. So if you want your marriage to be successful, go with that mindset of Christ when he demonstrates himself as the groom and the, the church or the soul is his bride. And what did he do? He sacrificed himself. Therefore, the, the image of the cross is basically what goes down here in the foundation. In this image, you will find the definition of the foundation in Christian marriage is uh, self-giving love or sac self-sacrificial uh, love. And the symbol is the, um, the cross. Uh, if you go one step above that, is the, the, we were going to start to talk about in another episode about the, the, the first fundamental uh, interpersonal relationships between the couples. And here we have four pillars, most importantly the love and respect, and we'll discuss this in, the, in details, and then the trust and the complementary understanding of the two together as having one goal. 
So in the, the next episode, we're going to talk about the foundation. The following one, we're going to talk about the pillars. But then if you move up to the second floor, you will find different rooms. There are nine of them here in this uh, diagram. Uh, I'll go over them very quickly, but each one of this will be discussed in the series in detail. So let's take, for example, uh, the top middle one is called the boundaries. It's actually best de described as relationships and boundaries. So what really uh, are the relationships, the priority of relationships in, in Christian marriage, and what are the boundaries around those relationships? And another one, if you go to the left, there is a room called communication. It's very important to learn how to have communi good communication skills, and we're going to delve into that and study scientifically and with the, the psychological research about how best communication should be conducted. Uh, towards the left, you will f find a room called the uh, male and female differences. So God have designed the male psychology different than the female psychology. Even, even anatomically, the, brain, uh, the male brain is different than the female brain. We're going to go through that in details both medically and psychologically. And then we will talk about different other rooms as you see there, the role differences between the husband and wife financial issues which, which contributes a huge problem to many uh, couples, how to solve the problem. So problem solving techniques is another room we'll talk about. The personalities, under that you can put the type of personalities of the, the couples, also the psychiatric or psychological uh, flaws that could happen or condition that could encroach on the Christian marriage and it's not necessarily understood. So with my humble background in the field of psychiatry, I can help you uh, at least shed the light uh, about some of the issues that could happen there. Also, parenting is usually uh, a lot of times uh, a source of problems. And then finally, on the top is the crown, where we have the most holy relationship that uh, I'm calling here holy of holies, which represents the intimate physical relationship uh, between the husband and wife and how that can really be a source of trouble if we don't understand it from a godly mindset. So allow me to present this series to you and uh, good luck to all of you and I pray that this leaves you in a very uh, good and healthy marriage. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen.